Danny friends, I am Lainey. I am Marshall. And today we are going to talk about a book we just finished reading called Come Tumbling Down and it is by Seanan McGuire. It is the fifth book in the Wayward Children series. The sixth one doesn't come out until next January. So we're done for now. Mm -hmm. Sad face. There isn't much more we can do until, well, there is like this article size one that's like five 4.5, 5.5. It, it's like a half story. But we could do that if we really need to, you know. But Come Tumbling Down is... Okay, so this is the story Jack Comes Back. Yes! So for those of you uh, who read the first book, you remember Jack and Jill. And they went back to the moors after Jack killed Jill. And Jill killed everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> so then all of a sudden Jack and uh, her girlfriend... Alexis. Alexis, yes. Uh, show back up in the middle of their old room. And Christopher, who's been living there for this while, is like, uh, Hi, this shouldn't happen. What's going on? Well, Jack is stuck in her sister's body. Because her sister has been reanimated once and thus cannot become a vampire. So in order to become a vampire, she swapped bodies with Jack. So Jack, who has OCD, um, is having a, a nervous germaphobe. Yeah, having, having a nervous breakdown right now. So it's time to go quest and get her body back so that everything can be that, normalized. The whole rule about no quests is just not... Thrown out the window. It was kind of thrown out the window uh, in, in, in the sugar sky. Uh-huh. Yeah. Beneath the sugar sky, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was just... Th forget that rule. It, it's... Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, how, did, how did you feel about this book? Well, uh, again, this was the book that kind of introduced me to the series, so I had read it like... You know, after the other ones, I read it out of context, and I remember liking it a lot. Um, I may have given it five stars the first time I read it, um, but, you know, having read it a second time, it actually solidified that this was my favorite book in the series. Uh, the characters are great, especially Sumi. Uh, when we first read, saw Sumi, in um, Beneath the Sugar Sky, I, you know, I thought she was okay. But then in this one, man, she's just, she's just a great character. I love her to death, She just actually. says so many amazing things that are like, wait, that makes no logical, wait, no, that, that's very true. Yeah. Uh-huh, okay. <laughs> she's a lot smarter than she lets on. She and is. Especially considering, like, she, her parents are, like, executives. Mm-hmm. And she was primed for that. And then she went to Sugarland. <laughs> So I also, I loved all of these characters. I, I think there's just one character we both kind of have an issue with at this point. Right. But Christopher, great. Jack, amazing. Sumi, beautiful. I, I also gave this book five stars because it's freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. Yep, I did. I gave it five stars again. I, it's my favorite in the series, hands down. Gonna be sad not to hear more, but I read the synopsis for the new book and I am like, <laughs> loving it, it's happening. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it has a new character too that we are being reintroduced to, so I don't know how many of the old ones are coming, but we'll see. So thank you so much for listening to our thoughts about this book. I hope you'll read this series because it is just, it's great and it's short and you'll get it done very fast. Mm -hmm. uh, so until next time. Stay zany. Bye.